Today we're looking at a bind cooling study. Today the temperature is 102.7 degrees. So this far corner here, I'm standing next to the pump on a levee. There's a buffer, and then I'm coming across to my left, and we're looking at the control. You can see there's no water on the ground. And straight ahead of us now is the under the vine treatment. And you can tell that because the ground is wet. So you can see there's not a lot of thickness to some of these plots. Any narrower, and we were very concerned about the edge effects. And then in the distance, you can see perhaps a bit of a fog and that is the over the vine cooling treatment and then on the far side you'll be able to make out where it's green again and that's the buffer on the far side of the block so it's the end of the season I'm in the overhead cooling section and I'm going to be looking for dehydrated fruit there's very little dehydration, it's not absent, but this is on the south side of the vine and there is really not a lot of sign of dehydration here and some fully exposed clusters. Again, overhead vine section, some fully exposed clusters. The control right now reads about 100 degrees. You can see that there is just really very little dehydration in the overhead. You know, they say it's seven to ten degrees cooler and it really does feel significantly cooler when you're standing here. In this part of the trial is the under the vine cooling. It does feel cooler, it still feels a little humid, but uh, it doesn't feel as cold as it felt in the over. I'm walking through and finding that most of the clusters in here that are in direct sunlight are in pretty good shape. Here we are looking at the control. There's no water above, there's no water below, the ground is dry. Uh, walking through this section of the trial, it is very easy to find fruit that is extremely dehydrated, as you see here. Pretty shaded cluster here, but uh, you don't have to look very hard and you can start to find where berries are sort of turning, taking on the flat basketball character. You can look at the neighbor here, you can see there's some dehydration there. A lot of flat basketballs. This is not uncommon in the control. You know I'm not hunting for these things. Again, you can see that dehydration in those berries there. Really not looking too hard here. Let me just try this cluster. And again, quite a bit of dimpling. Not terribly scientific, but pictures worth a thousand words. So a final look here at the control, no water on the ground, fairly lighter colored leaves. Here is a final look at the over-the-head vine cooling treatment. And finally, this is the under-the-vine cooling treatment.